Hi, this is Rachel, and today we're going to cover topic 31 of our supervision curriculum, research design. So again, as I mentioned in the last topic, when we get to this point in the series, in the curriculum, I'm asking trainees to go out and do the research and then present back to the group. And then we provide feedback to them on how accurate they were and how to fine tune their presentation. So for the research designs um, that we cover in this, uh, reversal or withdrawal design, multiple baseline, multi-element design, and changing criterion design. Those are the four that I choose to cover with my trainees. You could include additional ones, especially if in your setting, they will be exposed to additional types of research designs. One of the things that I find when covering this is that um, if you are in an applied setting where you are working with clients on a regular basis, most of their exposure to research design is going to be through either the class that they have taken in their coursework or through reading the literature. So again, it might be helpful to select the types of research designs that they are most likely to see either in their setting, if your setting does research, or in the literature that they are reading that is most relevant to the setting where they will be practicing. So we cover research design so that our trainees have a better understanding of the evidence for or not for um, particular uh, interventions, how they were tested and what weight that carries. Um, so I do kind of assess their knowledge, ask them, you know, what can you tell me about a reversal design? What can you tell me about a multiple baseline? What about a multi-element? What about changing criterion? Sometimes they don't know them by those names. Sometimes they might know them by um, a different name, like um, I think the multi-element alternating treatments, right? So we talk about how those uh, terms might mean the same thing or very similar things. Um, and then we just divide them up. Again, I teach those four and assign them to trainees, and then they come back and they present uh, a 10 minute presentation where they're going to describe the research design, including the points of experimental control and the weaknesses within those particular designs, because there are some for everything. And we want them to be able to identify where and how on the graph of these data that you would be able to see um, whether or not uh, it's demonstrating experimental control um, and why a particular experiment design um, might be weak to certain um, things. So why you might not want to use this type of experimental design if you are studying these type of behaviors. So I'm not going to go into all the details on the research designs in this video. Um, maybe in the future, let me know if you would like to see those. We can look into that. Um, but this is where I assign it to the trainees. They come back, they present, we learn from each other, and we give feedback on their presentation style, and we make sure that all the gaps are filled. But again, it's putting that um, skill of finding information, finding research, uh, back to practice. So if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to leave them below and I'm happy to answer those. And um, if you would like to see more about research design, let me know. Maybe I can put some videos together for that and I'll see you next time. Thanks.